Kara. He's the medium with a message, renowned psychic, helps so many connect with their loved ones. We're back here with Matt Fraser. Thank you so much for being with us. And you're telling us um, about eternal love, because Valentine's Day is coming up, and a lot of people are thinking, you know, what, do, what, what if I lost a loved one? What if we left on bad terms? Or what if anything? I mean, does the love go on? Well, one of the things that it's important to know is that your loved one on the other side loves you unconditionally. One of the things is that when you transition and you go from the physical world to the other side is those different emotions such as jealousy, anger, hate, uh, grief, those are all left here. These are emotions that we carry with us as humans, but they're left here in the physical world when we make our transition to the other side. Before we go to the other side or before a spirit goes to the other side, they have to forgive everybody who's here. It's almost like they have a life review where they look at all of the different lessons, everybody who's been involved in their life, and when they go to the other side, it's ultimate peace. Because if they hung on to those emotions such as grief, anger, guilt, whatever it may be, it wouldn't be heaven after all. The lesson so, for us in the living that we should just forgive while you're alive. It's and, like going through security at the airport. You have to take your shoes off and check everything that's before it. you it's get like, in. It's like TSA. It's like, <laughs> it's like you know, you drop all of that because that's exactly what it is. It's like wearing heavy clothing when you have all of those emotions you know, that are attached to you. And that's why you have to leave them here when you go to the other side. And that's one of the messages that they have for us here is to treat people with kindness, to love and spread love no matter where you go. Because so many times there's messages where, you know, and, uh, you know, when I connect with people on the other side and I'm reconnecting families and loved ones, oftentimes you'll hear parents or, who, or brothers or sisters, maybe there was a little bit of rivalry there, and you hear them tell their loved one in the audience when I'm doing events is, I wish I would have told you more that I loved you. I wish that there wasn't separation. I wish there wasn't distance between me and you before my passing. I wish that we could have gotten to mend things and that I hope that you forgive me. Mm. These are one of the most, these are some of the most important messages that I hear as a medium and that are so comforting to pass on to families. You know, I think it's interesting that uh, you, you talk about this eternal love. Like it goes on and on forever. You know, even when they're on the other side, yeah. that love, that bond never, it, it's, it, there's never a disconnect. Think of a circle, a circle within a circle. That's kind of how it is. There's just no end to it. It just keeps on going on. It keeps on, um, it grows stronger. Yeah. The more that you think about your loved one, the more that you're in touch with them, whether they're on the other side or here in this world, that bond of love that you share with somebody can only grow stronger and only intensify over time. Yeah, so, and I think for those of us who have lost loved ones and you feel like, oh, I can, you're still talking to them or you can feel their presence, it's important, I guess, that we recognize that and that understand that that love, it's not just a feeling we have, it's real. Absolutely. Anytime that they reach out to you, whether you just have a feeling or there's a memory that just triggers in your mind that makes you think of your loved one on the other side, know that it's probably them reminding you that they're close by. And one of their, also their messages is also to appreciate and acknowledge those that are around you as well, because mm -hmm. it's all about appreciation, connection, and love. To, you know, anyone that you touch within your life or anyone that you come in contact with, to just go and to tell them how you feel about them. That's why it's so important during Valentine's Day that we send cards that we're expressing to those around, around us just how much they mean within our lives and not just people our pets as well we have pets that we mm -hmm. love and I think mm -hmm. that pets just are a strong symbol of what um, love really is unconditional love and you suggest even at night which I know we've heard this so many times but writing in a gratitude journal writing at least a few things that you're grateful for maybe even a letter to your departed loved one absolutely because there's so many blessings that we just go through with it the day that we just that kind of get like shuffled through the back of our lives and the more that we you know acknowledge the blessings and appreciate all that's been given to us us and that we have within our lives and especially the people that's there the more positivity that you're going to be able to create as well now I want to just go back for a second you said before you go to the next level you have to forgive and leave all of this stuff behind what if Aunt Gladys really she really made you angry and you don't want to forgive that one do you do you just hang around out there and until you decide to forgive Aunt Gladys what, what, what happens well you have to remember that on the other side she let, already let go of that emotion and now it's time for you to let go of that you know when you forgive somebody it's like taking off that head heavy coat of armor. You just feel it just completely leave you. And that's what the true message is. Because hmm. forgiveness is the gift that you give yourself, they say. It is. Well, it's, it's true. You know, so many times you hear, you know, and I, when we, when Oprah used to be on, she used to have, you know, the, vic the victims of murder, you know, like the families of the murder victims, and they come on and they're like, I forgive this person for killing my, my sibling. I'm like, how do you do that? And they're like, without that forgiveness, you can't really move forward, even in that extreme case. It's a yeah. journey. It definitely is a journey, and it's definitely hard. But the moment you do, it's like, like it says, it's just like this instant release. It's like you're releasing all of that anger that's been built up from years and years and years. And the important thing, and we did this with, when we did the story on science of forgiveness, and I know from writing Finding Dad, it doesn't necessarily mean that you condone the behavior. When you're forgiving, you're just letting go. Mm. That's a great point, Kara.
Absolutely. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, saying that it's okay it's that okay you did that you this. It's okay this. But it's, it's, you're just acknowledging the fact that you're not going to let it bother you anymore. And where, you're not going to hold on to that. Where can we go to see you? Wow. You can go to www.meetmattfraser.com. And I actually just launched a bracelet that's out called Everlasting Love. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is is the same thing. It's a circle within a circle um, that basically shows us and keeps that... Um, that representation, that symbol of that love never dies, it only continues. And it's never too early to start thinking about summer. Sunday, June 28th, you're going to be back at Foxwoods. Get those seats now. <laughs> Sunday, June 28th. Oh well, you know what? It's nice. Magical 4 day. to 6 p.m. We can go see you, and, and you'll be doing Sold out last time. So okay. it's yeah. really important that yeah, you get, get your tickets. tickets early. Right. Yeah. My endless love. <laughs> Diana Ross, I hear her. Right you can hands. open for me, Scott. She's, I would love to. That would be fantastic. Thanks, thanks, Matt. We always appreciate you Thank coming Thank you out. so much for being here. Thanks. It's great being with you.